Today I want to talk to you about how I list items on eBay and if you've been here before thank you so much for coming back it's so exciting to see all the folks that have been watching my channel because I'm new to this whole process and again my name is Patty and I'm from Patty and Fashion and uh, if you don't know me I am a teacher and then at night and on weekends my side hustle is thrifting I just love thrifting so today what I wanted to do was share with you the process that I've been going through on listing items that I find when I'm out thrifting. And um, it may not be the right process, but I've been doing it this way because I've been trying to do a lot of research with different YouTube channels, different folks that thrift and have YouTube channels like Cha Ching King or anybody else. And so I've been just trying to learn and this is the process that I came up with. So if you have any suggestions for me, maybe later at the end, you could you know, put it in the comments for me. I'm always open up for suggestions. So what I do is when I go out and thrift with my husband and get the goodies that I want, I bring them home. And then the first thing that I want to do with them is wash or dry clean them because I want when I buy something for it to be clean. And then um, that way I know it's fresh for whoever buys it. Then after it's washed and dried, before we do any photos with it, which is usually what my husband does, um, I like to iron them or steam them up to make them look really good in the pictures. That's, I guess, one of the things that one of the YouTubers talked about is having good quality pictures. And even with me, I like my things to look crisp and clean and nice and sharp in the photo. So that's, I guess, a pet peeve of mine. So I really, I do that. And then we get the photos taken. Now, one thing that I really like in the photos that I've seen from other sellers is putting in the measurements. So we really try to do as many measurements as we can of the item in the photos so that when the person's looking at it, like if I was looking at it, I'd be able to see like the, the, the length of the chest or the length of the inseam or, or whatever. Um, because when you're buying online, it's kind of like you can't really see the item until you get it. So that's what I do. And then... As my husband's working on the photos, that's kind of his thing. I will then, after he's done with the photo, he'll, he'll give it to me. And then I make a listing. I try to create the listing and that's where I do research. And my job is to figure out how much to sell the item for. So I'm looking around and that seems to be all that information you got to put in seems to really at this moment be, be bogging me down. So I'm learning how to speed up that process and, and get everything that I need listed in there. And right now it just seems like there's so much. It's like, are you kidding me? But I'm figuring that out. And then once I get it all listed, then I like to put it in a cellophane wrapping. Um, one of the things that one of the YouTubers mentioned was, and it makes sense that um, you want to protect the item from like all the weather elements like humidity or rain or snow or ice or whatever. And that makes sense to me because I wouldn't want something to get destroyed or ruined um, before the person purchasing it gets it. So I put it in the cellophane and then um, we um, close it up and I have a cute little thank you sticker I put on there because I'm so appreciative when anyone buys anything from my store right now. This is so cool. And then we weigh it and make sure we kind of get the weighing items, how we're going to like in the future, if it sells, how we're going to, you know, put it in and make sure I get those weights of any poly mailers or the box I'm going to use because we try to simulate so that we can get the weights just right. And then I'd always double check that that later. And then we put it in a bin. And right now I've got, I think, of two, because we did alphabetical order. Uh, I think Cha-Ching King mentioned that of being organized. And so it makes sense to me. So we've got these clear bins right now in my bedroom labeled. I think we're up to G or H alphabetically. And it's, I think it's easy to see the items that are in there. And plus we learned to put in the listing. I put that bin number in my listing so that later on, hopefully when the item sells, fingers crossed, um, that I can easily find it and then get it sent to them. So when an item sells right now, and we did have some sell this morning, so yay, um, we pull the item and then I, um, well, my husband helps me. We, we buy the postage label and print it on our thermal printer. We bag it up in these cute little poly mailers. I like this one with little flowers for smaller things. And for bigger things, we've got these cute little turquoise ones. 
And then I like to put in there just a thank you note, um, a personal note I write on here, thanking you for buying from my store. Uh, I just think that makes it a little bit more personal. I think it's nice to get that in any purchases that I make. And then we take it to the post office. So that's the process that I've been doing. Um, I think I covered everything. And if there's anything that I missed or a little tip or trick, I'd really appreciate it in the comments below. And so again, thank you for stopping by today. And remember, why pay retail when you can save on resale? Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.